Welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. And I'm Darren. And today I'm going to do a little bit of a review um, on these Tau Fiery Phoenix knives that I use. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen a couple you know, in the videos that I've done. I've, I've used these a lot. I actually did an unboxing of the uh, Damascus Steel Chef knife that I bought. Um, I got hooked on these knives a couple months back. I uh, was looking for some decent knives. I've never really had high quality knives. I've always just had, you know, whatever garbage that I could get um, on sale at Kohl's or whatever. Um, just constantly trying to keep them sharp. Never really, you know, had any decent, really good knives. So I decided I want to start treating myself when I started doing these videos and started looking for something that wasn't too expensive but was pretty decent quality. And that uh, would work really well for me. I've got some pretty big uh, mullet hand paws here, so uh, I needed something that would fit my hand good. So the first knife I actually started out with with these was this uh, boning knife. I was looking for a decent boning knife uh, in German steel and saw these handles. Somebody had recommended it to me. And I went ahead and bought this one and I got it and I immediately fell in love with the handles. I love this, uh, the design of the Paco wood and the ergonomic grip fits my big hand really well and I found that this the German steel um, holds an edge really well doesn't get uh, water spots and rust on it and uh, like I said I just overall like the whole feel of this knife so I went ahead and I started ordering some more I ordered the uh, regular German steel chef's knife and that actually was a really good knife as well I like this it's very light Holds the edge real well. Same German steel. Got me excited about the carving knife. I never had a really decent carving knife. So I went ahead and ordered this one as well. This one is, uh, like I said, I, I, I love this knife as well. It's just got the same high quality German steel. Holds an edge real well. I've used this a couple times to cut pastrami, roast, stuff like that. And it works very well. Can't wait to use this on cooking, you know, carving up the turkey on Thanksgiving. So, so that's what I kind of started out with. Started one, two, three, you know, four. Now, I ended up with this, the rest of the set, which is in a block, the block set. All of these knives are actually none of these knives. These are all the ones you can buy single, you know, on the single side. And actually, this knife set has a few knives that you can't get um, on its own. So. I love the shape of this block. The block is actually a linear design. Um, instead of you know width-wise, this is go, goes long-wise, and it's also not in a block shape. So I like this. It's a different design. Kind of like the wood. It's real heavy wood. It's not light. It's not something that's you know. It's not um, uh, preformed or you know sawdust or anything like that. It's real wood. You can tell it's solid. <clears throat> and what it comes with, it comes with these. Real heavy duty poultry sears that lock. Um, I've used these a couple times on chicken so far. It works real well. They're very sharp, very uh, very sturdy. It comes with the paring knife, same very high quality German sh German steel and uh, holds an edge real well. All these knives are full tang, which means the metal goes from one end to the other all the way through. It's not just pieces of metal uh, glued together. So. It's one piece of metal all the way through, and then the pocket wood is wrapped around. And every one of the knives are like that. It comes with the five-inch utility knife, which is a good everyday knife. And it comes with two cleavers. This one is kind of like a veggie cleaver, they call it. It's kind of a different, uh, more of a Japanese-type shape. Then it comes with a traditional meat cleaver. Kind of a you know a little bit heavier than the other one a little bit more traditional design but they're all that same high quality german steel and the santuco knife which is more of a flatter it's not like the chef's knife it's not angled so it's it's kind of a, a flatter japanese style knife same german steel and then it comes with the uh the honing steel as well and this is very solid. Like I said, all these uh, handles, the pocket wood is all very uh, ergonomic and they fit real well, especially if you've got bigger hands like me. And they all fit real well in this block. So 
that's what I got. And these these have been really awesome so far. They all hold an edge real well. Um, have had no problems whatsoever. Um, they cut really well. No rust on them. No water spots sticking to it and, and getting them all rusty. So I suggest you guys take a look at these. Um, these come on sale all the time on lightning deals on Amazon. I try to post them up on my Facebook group and page when they do, just because I think they're a really high quality knife for a good price. Um, I got this on lightning deal for 50 bucks. They normally sell for around 80, um, which is fantastic still at a high quality Damascus steel knife. <clears throat> but uh, all these knives will come up on sale, you know, all the time, but even the everyday uh, price that they're selling at is very good. So I'm not going to cut anything up. I just kind of wanted to show these to you. Um, I've cut with these knives all the time. You can watch my videos and see me cutting with them. I mean, they all have very sharp edges. So um, these all have a 15 degree edge, which is uh, kind of standard on the Japanese knives. So, um, and that's about it. I love these knives. They look really well. Um, like I said, I like them just because they look cool and they, la you know, they got high quality German steel and I know they'll last me a long time. And they didn't cost me an arm and a leg. I've seen people pay $200, $300 for just one knife. Um, and they don't look as good, half as good as these. So I suggest them, highly recommend them. Thanks for watching. Make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe, follow us on Facebook. We have a group and a page, and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And thanks again, guys, and I'll be back in another video soon. Thank you.